everyone welcome back to my channel today is Sunday so that means you're gonna get a soap making tutorial and today I'm going to be attempting to do a feather swirl uh, this will be interesting I've never done it before and we'll see how it goes and since I liked the piping so much last week I'm gonna go ahead and do a piped a semi piped top just kind of make it real simple um, so anyway you know the drill and as always safety first all right let's get going so while I wait for my oils to cool, <clears throat> right now, well, they were 133, 125 right now. So I'm going to wait for those to cool a bit. This, uh, my lye water has been sitting around for quite a while, so it's very much room temperature. Um, and again, I want them to be the same temperature, or same-ish temperature, not too far apart um, when I mix them so that I don't get like any kind of crazy soap behavior, but um, while I wait, I'll go ahead and explain to you that um, I'm going to be using this Island Breeze Odor Neutralizer Fragrance Oil from Wholesale Supplies Plus. Um, I really like how fresh that fragrance is. Um, it's got kind of like a, a sharp note to it that's like, I can't really explain. Um, I have my bag set up for piping. I'm using a kind of, I guess a flower tip. I've never actually used this tip before, so I'll see how these come out. And uh, to do the feather, um, the way that I'm going to lay the color down is to pipette uh, soap batter in color, and then the neutral color, and then the color um, in like alternating patterns. And then once I get the whole thing covered, I'm gonna go in with my tool uh, that I made this uh, <laughs> janky hanger um, that I, I made out of a coated wire hanger. <clears throat> Go in and dip down and lift like like so. Um, then once that's done, I'm gonna cover the rest with the regular uncolored soap batter and uh, do my piping work with that. So um, anyway, yeah, so just waiting for the oils to cool I'm also using, uh, <clears throat> it's called a neon, neon Bikini Blue Powder. It's also from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I got it as a sample because I wasn't really sure. Um, I think it's a neon, um, one of their neon lines that's supposed to not, it's supposed to resist discoloration in soap. Um, here I have it dispersed in just regular coconut oil. Uh, my label is pretty messed up because it's spilled oil over the top of it. But. Anyway, just regular refractionated coconut oil, just a little bit. And now I'm going to mix that with my little bit of soap batter. Okay, so I'm ready to start mixing here. Um, go ahead and add my lye water. I pour it down the side of my spatula so it doesn't splash. Just give it a good little mix. There's no fragrance or anything in here yet. Um, so it shouldn't accelerate or do anything crazy just yet. Okay. Okay, I'm going to give it a few pulses with the stick blender, but I'm going to speed it up so you don't have to hear that. I didn't realize I didn't have the camera on, sorry. Um, all I did was just put a little bit in um, with my color and mix it with my pipette tip. My soap batter was um, kind of going to trace and then loosening up and then going to trace and then loosening up, so I had to mix it a few times, which I didn't record, but uh, you'll, uh, you'll get the feel for it whenever you see. So this is probably this is like a light trace, um, maybe maybe a medium trace, because I can see the line. It still feels kind of thick, but not thick like a like a thick trace. I'm gonna slowly add my fragrance. I did not fragrance the uh, the blue portion. I guess it doesn't really matter if I fragrance it or not. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. 
This is another one of those fragrances that turns your soap bed white. Um, I think it's just like an emulsifying property um, of the particular ingredients, which no biggie. Um, it actually brightens the soap. Makes it a little happier, I guess. I don't know. But originally um, when I added it, it thickened up my soap batter and then it loosened up again. So you just stir it around a bit. It's back to where it was. It did not accelerate or anything. But um, since I'm gonna pipe some of this, I want to reserve some of it um, for later. I don't want to pour it in my bag just yet because it's um, still very fluid and it'll just pour right out the tip. Um, so I'm just going to reserve that. Let it sit to the side and thicken up a bit because for piping we want um, really thick trace because otherwise it won't hold its shape. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is just pour um, a little in the bottom, kind of give it a layer on the bottom. I'm just using a regular loaf mold, nothing special. My blue soap thickened up a little bit, probably because it's very saturated with color. Um, sometimes colorants can also thicken your soap if you use a lot of it, um, but that's okay. It didn't thicken it, thicken it up too terribly much, so it's going to work. Um, my pipettes, I cut the tip off right about the one mil mark um, because I wanted like a nice wide um, spread, I guess. I don't know, like line for when I'm doing this. Um, but I also want to tightly control it, so I'm going to use this uh, base batter, go over the top of it. The blue is, is so much thicker, I may even just be able to pour over the top of it, but I don't want to risk ruining the line, so I'm just going to do this. My goal is to get a um, just a blue delicate feather in the middle. Okay, set that aside. I'm not pouring any soap on the sides here, so I'm just gonna kind of try to flatten it out a little bit by doing that. Just slamming it a little bit. This is a, uh, like if you want to do designs like this, that's why it's important to get a fragrance that doesn't move too fast. And this one, um, since my batter was going back and forth, being thick and thin, uh, I may have mixed it a little too much before I even added the fragrance. Um, so it's it feels like it's thickening up a little bit, but it could also be wholly due to the fragrance and not anything I did. But I don't know, it seems to be behaving pretty well. I can at least... Um, suck it up into my pipette which is another good thing because if you had like the narrow tip on it you probably wouldn't be able to suck up this thick soap I 
layers on layers on layers. Sorry, this part might get a little boring because I don't really have a ton to say because I'm just trying to get the soap on top of this layer here. That color, I've never used it before and it's, it's incredibly, incredibly vibrant. It's even darker in the cup. Um, I'm glad it didn't turn out that dark because I didn't really want it to be that dark, but it's kind of like an ocean blue color. And I might have enough soap in here to do one more blue after this. It's going to be a multi-layer feather. I've seen some really pretty work with like rainbow colored feathers. Um, but you can do that too. Just, uh, I was trying to minimize cleanup time because whenever you involve multiple colors and the more colors, the more dishes you have. Let me put it that way. I'm not cleaning up soap messes or is not fun. It's fun to make the soap for sure, but clean up sucks. Okay, I need to stir my white up a little bit. It's getting a little thick. I may even be able to, well, I guess it thinned out just a little bit when I mixed it. So, hoorah! This, this batch is behaving oddly. And it's the same recipe I always use, so there's nothing different there. blue and then we'll be tapped here with the blue. Actually, I'm not even like halfway up this thing, so I think I'm going to try something and lighten up my blue just a little bit and do some lighter blue layers at the top. So maybe I'll do a little bit more of this since this fragrance is giving me plenty of time to work with it. May as well take advantage. See now it's a little bit lighter. But I'm gonna have to start working a little bit faster just because um, it doesn't matter how slow your fragrance is, it's going to start thickening up eventually. So you can work and work and work. Um, and the slowest moving fragrance is gonna eventually just solidify because obviously it's soap. So um, you want it to solidify. Might be able to do two light blue layers and then I'm going to call it good. Yeah, I have enough for one more. I'm going to abandon the pipette for this white part because it's thick enough, the blue is thick enough to where it's not going to smoosh um, or the line isn't going to break. It, it's okay if it smooshes, it's just the line isn't going to break um, whenever I put this batter on top. Another thing to note is when you're doing a swirl like this, um, the thinner the batter it is, the wispier your feather will be. So since this is kind of a thicker batter, um, my feather might not be as wispy. Um, because you have to kind of give it a little bit more muscle. <laughs> I guess that's not really the right term, but you have to give it a little bit more, maybe a thicker, a thicker hanger, whatever, to do your swirl um, to actually push through those layers because um, they're they are thick. Okay. If I 
lay too much, I won't remember where my line is, even though it's right in the middle. Okay, now we're gonna go in with our hanger tool and we basically just go straight down the center, down and around. So basically what that's gonna do is kind of give your layers like a heart type shape, but since you have multiple layers, it kind of comes out looking like a feather. So now I can just lay the rest of this on top. And this is getting thick enough, but it's not quite, quite thick enough to do piping. Like it looks pretty thick, but we need it to be like ultra thick for piping. Get as much as I can out of here. Since I kind of want the top focus to be on the piping, this is kind of chunky right now or kind of globby looking. I'm going to uh, have to flatten it out some. So let's push it into the corners, get it nice and even. Man, this color or this fragrance really gives you some time to play. And that was the, uh, shoot, I don't remember the name of it, Island Breeze Fragrance from Wholesale Supplies Plus. And it's an odor neutralizing fragrance, so it's very crisp, very clean. I made a mess. My sink is right there, so things in there. Okay, I think that's flat as it's going to get, which um, that's fine. I'm going to check on my Always have your tools nearby. Oh yeah, look at how thick that is. That's great. Um, one thing to be wary of is like once, if you stir it, is it gonna loosen up? See, do you see how it's kind of loosened up and given its gloss back? I want that to be even thicker. So we'll wait on that a little bit. And it's good too because I want this bottom layer to be sturdy enough to hold it. So, okay, I'm trying to make this flatter, but I don't want to, I'm afraid I'm going to ruin it. So, I'm just going to quit while I'm ahead. All right, I'm going to wait for this to harden. So, be right back. All right, I have my soap. Um, it's still not quite as thick as I'd like it to be, um, but I have it in my bag and I'm gonna, I don't really have a plan because it's just a kind of a texture top. There's nothing like colored or anything about it. Um, so I'm just gonna pipe the side here. These are like little flowers. I guess it's not too bad. Um, if it were like flopping over, I'd be concerned, but it's not really doing that, so. I still have some batter left, so I'll make little baby flowers next to it. Or whatever these are. Boy, it really doesn't take much. Um, maybe I'll do another layer. 
because I still have quite a bit left. You saw that I didn't really put much aside. I can feel it's getting down to its last bit though, so this might be the end of it. Maybe. Put a little few layers on top, maybe. Give it some extra dimension. Okay, I'm just in the tip now, so this is definitely the end. <laughs> All right, cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and hibernate this in the oven and then uh, I'll probably cut it tomorrow. I am gonna speed this portion up just a skosh just because um, I'm just cutting the bars, but it's revealing the pattern and I think you can see it pretty well. Plus I have pictures at the end, but, um, the feathers actually kind of came out more looking like leaves in my opinion. Um, but that's okay. I think they look good. And, um, I like how the transition from the dark to the light blue and, um, some of them just, I don't know, they look, they look pretty cute. So I'm satisfied with these. Okay, so that's everything. Uh, I hope you enjoyed learning about how to make the feather. I know it was a long, kind of drawn out process. You can do it a little bit faster, but um, I was just taking my time. I'd never done it before. Um, so anyway, here's the final product. This is still in its loaf form. And then um, I have pictures of it cut. Anyway, if you would like to subscribe, just click on my portrait on the right. And if you'd like to receive notifications when I post, just click on the bell. And I will be seeing you next time for another soap making extravaganza. You can also check in on Wednesdays where I'll post something related to art, maybe experiments or um, drawings or whatever it may be. But anyway, see you next time. Bye.